So I was like sitting around, I was bored, and I was like, you know what? Might as well film a video. I don't know. Okay, favorite movie of all time. That's a really tough one. I'd have to say like Amazing Grace. That's a really great movie. Inception's a really great movie. I don't really watch movies. Hey. Favorite book of all times. I don't really read books, so like the Bible, I guess. Um, I did read um, No Easy Day. That book is a really good book. Highly recommend that. Wait, favorite item to go shopping for? Food. What would be my perfect day out? My perfect day out would be something like getting up early, going mountain biking, then eating some breakfast, then going skydiving, four-wheeling, and then go surfing, and then after surfing, probably eat more food. Ideal, like hammock in front of the ocean to watch the sunset, and there's like dolphins going, and they're like, <laughs> That would be pretty cool. Favorite hobby activity that makes me get lost for hours? Like skateboarding, editing videos. The best advice I've ever been given, probably don't think. Because when you think, you overthink, and when you overthink, you don't do anything. But don't take that too far. The best advice I've ever given. I don't really give advice too much, I don't feel like. Be yourself. Jesus. Follow Jesus. The coolest natural wonder I've ever seen. A rainbow? The most fun road trip I've ever taken. Where and with whom? Well, all the road trips I've taken have been with my family. And we've gone to New York, Florida, and Indiana. There's some pretty rememberable ones. Like on one trip we went out, we were camping there in Virginia. That night it like poured rain. Some guys were drunk and they're beating each other up and so the cops showed up. Um, that really wasn't a great great road trip experience but it was a very memorable one the closest call i've ever had i feel like most of the sh close calls i've had i probably didn't realize how close they were um but i think one of the ones that i'm mem most memorable would be like we're like having a preteen party we're playing basketball someone throws the basketball to me i run and i catch it you lose your balance and you just can't stop running backwards that's what happens and i slammed onto the ground and i look right next to me they had a stake in their yard for throwing horseshoes onto pretend like this is the stake like this and it caught my shirt right here so it was like a few inches and it would have like gone into my back and I like fell on it hard so it, it skinned the side of me so that was pretty close like I don't think I would have died but that was a pretty close call I don't really I don't I don't really have a lot of close calls like I'm a pretty crazy person I do a lot of dumb stuff but I don't ever get like really hurt let me just knock on wood right there most suspenseful moment suspenseful Suspenseful? Suspenseful moment. Probably watching The Little Mermaid. Most unexpected achievement. This. This right there. I got that for, um, um, never picked up a shotgun before. And I shot like 24 out of 25, first time picking up a shotgun. So I took second for the overall sharpshooter. <laughs> the best dessert I've ever eaten. I don't know how you can't like get any better than ice cream. That and like fresh Chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven. Uh, my favorite household chore. Who has a favorite household chore? The best cup of coffee I ever had. That was this morning. The hardest question a child has ever asked me. Uh, how to spell this. The most unusual pet I've ever had. It was like a shrew. Shrew, is that what you call it? It's like a rat, but it's really small. But um, that was probably the weirdest pet we've ever owned. The most important tool in my craft or hobby kit this the most healthy and vital time in my life birth the worst thing i've ever got away with murder <laughs> probably like spitting in my sister's milk <laughs> kindest thing i ever did for a stranger give them money i guess favorite household cleaner smell i don't know i don't find cleaning smells to be that great favorite outdoor smell probably when you fresh cut the grass and it has that nice grass smell and also when it's like about to rain right before it rains it smells good favorite dinner my mom made mac and cheese song that makes me move no matter how bad i feel got that sunshine in my pocket got that good soul in my feet i feel that hot blood in my body when it drops my favorite patriotic experience i don't know the biggest moment of celebrity like being in trouble my one favorite item of clothing probably underwear item i would take to a desert island probably like water or like a boat or a helicopter. How about a helicopter that's fueled where I'd spend my whole life if I could? Hawaii. My favorite moment as a parent. I'm not a parent. My favorite moment as a sister or brother. Okay, so we were at the library. I was with me and my second older sister, Christina. My mom was gonna hop out of the car and run some books into 
the library and me and Christina were sitting there. She was in the front row and I was in the second row. We're parked across the street right in front of one of the, this is just a gym. Two guys come out of the gym. They're jacked guys, you know? And I get this great idea, I go, so I lean over the front seat and hit the horn. I go, and then I duck underneath the seat. So then when they look over, all they see is just my sister sitting in the front seat. They're like, oh, hey, babe. She was just like, she was doing this right there. That's what my sister was doing. Hey, look, you can see my hair. That was probably my favorite moment at being a brother, was humiliating my sister. Favorite cooking or kitchen smell is probably fresh cookies coming out of the oven, because that smells amazing. Nicest thing I've ever done for a kid. That was probably when I was a kid myself. I was at a thrift store and there was a punching bag. And I was so stoked to buy this punching bag. But another kid came into the store and he had already seen that punching bag from like the day before. And he saw that I already had it and he started breaking down crying because I had the punching bag and he wanted the punching bag. And so I felt really bad, so I ended up giving him the punching bag. The most fun game I've ever played. Probably all the ones that you make up as a kid. If I had one hour to live, what would I spend it doing? It would probably be to say goodbye to all my loved ones and people I enjoy or appreciate. Anyways guys, I don't really have a way of ending this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs down if you absolutely hate it. More videos to come. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Working on my smolder.